So as you guys know this, I am using this Xiaomi Mi A3 as my primary device from past two weeks, I guess. And today in this video, I'm going to tell you more than 10 reasons to purchase this smartphone. So hey, what's up guys? My name is Zaheer. Let's begin. So guys, before starting this video, let me give you a small disclaimer over here that every phone has their pros and their cons. And the cons of this phone has been already covered in my previous video. So if you wanna see that, I will leave a card there. You can go and check that out. So first of all, you have to watch both the videos to make the informed decision for buying this. I have already made a video, top five reasons not to purchase this phone. With that said, let's begin. So first of all, uh, guys, let me give you a reason to buy this smartphone. So the first reason would going to be the looks, design and build quality. As you see, this phone looks pretty fantastic. I mean, it looks pretty gorgeous. As you see over here, the back is fully glass and it's a Gorilla Glass 5, not some cheap ass glass. And even on front, they have covered it with Gorilla Glass 5. So the toughness of this device is very good. And this phone looks pretty fantastic and the build quality is pretty good too. By the way, it has only six inches display, so it fits very comfortably inside your hand. And the looks is pretty fantastic of this phone. It's a head turner for sure, especially in this white color and that blue color, which haven't liked it that much, but yeah. So guys, second reason to buy this smartphone would go into the display. I know, I know, I know it has only 720p display, but it has an AMOLED display guys, which is just fantastic to look at. Uh, it's a feast for your eyes. It's a very, very good display. As you know, uh, AMOLED has very, very high contrast ratio. So the contrast of the display is just amazing. The black levels are very, very deep. Uh, the colors of the display is pretty fantastic. Uh, it is a little bit saturated side, but yeah, it looks pretty fantastic for the content watching. If you are a lover of movie watching and all those things, you will love this display. And to complement that, the speaker of this phone is pretty good too. It is not that loud in my opinion, but the quality of this speaker is pretty fantastic. It sounds pretty good. I mean, uh, it sounds clear and the low end is also present without any muddiness. So that's a very, very good thing. Then after that, the third reason would going to be the cameras. And let me tell you one thing, you can quote me on it. This is the best camera smartphone under 20,000 rupees. By the way, guys, I have uh, covered the entire thing about the camera in the full camera review of this phone. So if you want to see that, I will leave a card so you can go and check that out. But in short, it has triple rear camera as a primary sensor is 48 megapixel IMX586 sensor. Yeah, you are getting that sensor. That's the same sensor which OnePlus 7 Pro has, which cost 50,000 rupees and this phone costs just 13,000 rupees and the camera is pretty fantastic. It has wide angle lens on the front facing camera is 32 megapixel and the quality of that lens is pretty fantastic. As you see, these are some of the pictures. By the way, you can go and check the full review right here. And by the way, I have already installed a Google camera on this phone too. So if you want to see that video, I will leave a uh, card there so you can go and check both the videos to make the informed decision. With that said, the next reason to buy this smartphone is going to be the battery. As you know, previously in Xiaomi Mi A series, the battery life was not that good. They have given consistently 3000 mAh battery in previous two Mi A devices. But this time they have given us 4000 mAh battery with the 720p display. So the battery life of this phone is pretty good. It is not as good as some uh, other phones like Redmi Note 7 Pro. Because of the optimization of Android One is not that good yet. But in future, I believe that it will be better. And the battery life of this smartphone is pretty good, pretty fantastic, I would say. I am getting around one and a half days of usage. So yeah, that's great actually. Then after that, you have a... Uh, 18 watt fast charging support but sadly the 18 watt fast charger is not provided in the box you get a 10 watt charger inside the box so uh, that's kind of a letdown in my opinion then after that guys i have to talk about the next reason and the next reason would going to be the performance this smartphone comes with snapdragon 660 processor i oh, no 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 not the 660 it comes with the upgraded processor from the 660 it's an updated version of 660 basically uh, the name of it is 665 and it's a 8 core processor built on 11 nanometers so the efficiency is pretty good but the performance is pretty fantastic i love the processor uh, day to day task gaming by the way, it has Adreno 610 GPU, so the gaming is pretty fantastic. By the way, I did the full gaming review of this phone uh, with the PUBG and all. So if you want to see that, I will leave a card too. 
So yeah, so the performance of this phone is pretty fantastic. No issues in terms of the performance of this phone. Now, after that, moving to the next reason to buy this smartphone and the next reason would going to be the Android one. That would be the major reason to buy this smartphone. So it has an Android one, which is a stock Android and it does not have advertisement, does not have bloatware. I know it is not that optimized yet, but in future, I hope that it will be get optimized properly. But Oh boy, oh boy, the Android One experience is pretty fantastic. It has a very smooth and clean experience. So and I'm in love with the Android One. So if you do want Android One, then close your eyes and get this device. You won't gonna regret it for sure. Now after that, uh, the next reason would going to be the future proofness. I know it has just 720p display, but it has Type C port and an uh, in-display fingerprint scanner, guys. It looks like a futuristic smartphone. So uh, I have to say thank you so much for giving USB Type C consistently for three years, Xiaomi. Thank you, and uh, thank you for giving this uh, under-display fingerprint scanner. By the way, let me tell you that this is the cheapest smartphone comes with the under-display fingerprint scanner. In 13,000 rupees, you're getting under display fingerprint scanner. And that's a great, I think. I know it's not that fast, but yeah, you have it here. Uh, the next reason to buy this smartphone would going to be the notification LED light. You know, I love the notification LED light, right? So it has a notification LED light uh, right beside the camera and the earpiece cutout. And I have to say that's a very, very useful thing in my opinion. And if you love that, you should definitely consider to buy this smartphone. After that, we have a headphone jack. Guys, the next reason to buy this smartphone would going to be the headphone jack, you know. In the last Mi A2, Xiaomi has removed the headphone jack, which was the most pathetic thing I have ever seen done by a small company. Yeah, I mean, Xiaomi is not a small company, but con considerably it is smaller than Sh Samsung and all. But removing a headphone jack from a mid-ranger, it's not a good move, but I am so glad that they have bring that headphone jack back over here and also it has a IR blaster. So yeah, I'm in love with the headphone jack and the IR blaster. You know, IR blaster is not that useful for me right now, but uh, it would be very, very useful to you. So if you are looking for that things, you can do purchase this smartphone. Now, after that, the next reason to buy this smartphone are going to be the P2i rating. I mean, it has a splash proof rating, which is P2i. So the light print won't affect this phone. So if you're living in some rainy environment, I guess, so you can do purchase this and use it in light rain situation. But I should say that avoid that situation. If you're in a heavy rain, if you caught heavy rain or something, it would get affected. Don't blame me for that, but it has a P2I rating. So yeah, that would be a very, very good reason to buy this smartphone. Then after that, the last, but not the least at all, the biggest reason to buy this smartphone is the value the value proposition that it offers. I mean, this smartphone can cost 13,000 rupees for the base variant and which comes with uh, 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage. And that is internal storage is not EMMC storage. That's a UFS 2.1 storage. That is very, very fast. I mean, in this price range, this is the best package that I have seen in terms of the smartphone industry. Uh, it's a very, very good. I would say it's a perfect smartphone, but if they have given us the 1080p display, it, it would disrupt the market all over. But overall, I have to say this is one of the best value for money product that you can buy in this price range. So yeah, that's all in this video, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If it did, then hit that like button. By the way, uh, if you love all the reasons to buy the smartphone, go and check that out, the reason not to buy the smartphone. But if uh those reasons won't bother you just go ahead and buy this smartphone you won't gonna regret it so with that said i will leave a link in the description box below from where you can purchase this so yeah thank you so much for watching this video guys by the way if you haven't subscribed and if you love my content hit that subscribe button uh after that hit that bell notification icon so you will be notified when i post new videos like this one in the future by the way guys let me tell you that if you share this video it would mean a lot to me so please share this video with your friends so yeah thank you so much for watching this video guys bye